When we're going to solve this differential equation, we have y prime is equal to negative y times the parentheses with 1 plus x times y squared inside. Notice that this is not separable because we have this x right here, and we cannot factor anything out anymore, right? And also, this is not linear because we have the y squared, so right away you know it's not linear. But we do have this negative y in front of this parentheses. Why don't we just go ahead and multiply this negative y into the parentheses? And we end up with this negative y minus x times y to a third power. And notice that I rewrote y prime as dy dx because this notation is usually preferred in differential equation. Alright, so this is what we have, and I see that we have negative y to the first power. Let me add y on both sides, so I end up with this dy dx plus y equals to negative x times y to a third power. To me, the left hand side here, it looks like a linear differential equation, isn't it? But the whole thing is not, because we have this y to the third power here. This is just a power though, y to the third power. This is actually an easy fix, because we can use the Bernoulli's substitution. And even though this is not linear at the moment, it will become linear after we do the Bernoulli substitution. Which it says, I'm going to let another variable, and usually we pick phi. We let phi to be y raised to the 1 minus whichever this power is. And by the way, this power can be any real number. It can be 1 half, it can be negative 5, any real number will be okay. But in this case, it's 3, so of course, we let v equals to y to the 1 minus 3, which is y to the negative 2. This is what we need, and then we'll do some change of variables from here, okay? Substitution, things like that. Well, I'm going to first get dy dx in terms of dv dx first. Let's look at this. v is equal to y to the negative 2. I'm going to differentiate this equation, and I will do it by implicit differentiation, well, technically speaking. Anyways. The derivative of v is dv dx, and on the right hand side here, we bring the negative to the, to the front, minus 1 to the exponent, so we have y to the negative 3, and remember, y is a function of x, so we multiply by dy dx. This is what we have, and I want to isolate the dy dx for you guys, so I divide both sides by this, I end up dy dx is equal to 1 over this, which is negative 2 times y to the negative 3 power, and then we have the dv dx on this side. And now, I will replace this to the dy dx. dy dx becomes 1 over negative 2 y to the negative 3 power, and then we have the dv dx, and let me just keep the rest to be the same for now. Because, you see, this is what we have right here, right? And I want to have just one in front of the dv dx. What I can do is, let's go ahead and multiply everything by this denominator, which is negative 2 y to the negative 3. And you will see that this times that cancel, we just have 1. And this times that, negative 2 times this, which is negative 2, and then y to the negative 3 times y to the positive 1 power. It's just negative 2 power for the y. And then the last part here, this times this, y to the negative 3 times y to the third power is y to the 0, so no more y. Negative 2 times negative x is just positive 2, right? So this is what we have now. And notice that here we still have the y, right? y to the negative 2. But this is just what? This is just, you know, phi. <laughs> y to the negative 2 is just phi, so we can replace this back to phi. And we have dv dx now, minus 2v is equal to 2x. This equation is now linear. Well, how can we solve a linear differential equation? Of course, we use the integrating factor. So let's use the integrating factor. Mu is equal to e raised to the negative 2. Comes from here, right? This is the p in front of the v. <laughs> so we have to integrate negative 2. And you know that's just negative 2x, and this is the integrating factor, e to the negative 2x. So I'm going to take this and multiply this equation by e to the negative 2x. So I end up with this, right? You see the, neg you see, you see the e to the negative 2x right here. Well, the beauty of doing so is the left-hand side, this is going to be the derivative of a product of two functions. What and what? Well, it's e to the negative 2x times phi. 
you can always do a quick check. The derivative of this times that, you first keep the first function, and you differentiate phi, which is d phi dx, and then you keep the second function, which is phi, and then you differentiate e to the negative 2x, which is negative 2, and then e to the negative 2x. And on the right-hand side, we just have this, right? 2x times e to the negative 2x. And now, I want to get rid of the derivative. Of course, let's go ahead, integrate both sides with respect to x, so that this and that will cancel. And we will just have the inside e to the negative 2x times phi. And this is equal to, how can we integrate this? 2x e to the negative 2x. We need to use integration by parts. And of course, here is the di method. I'm going to differentiate 2x, and I will be integrating e to the negative 2x. And you do all this, right? <laughs> and you see we have a 0 in the d column, so that's good. And then we have to do all that. And be careful with all the signs. So the integral of this is going to be positive 2x times negative 1 half e to the negative 2x. So it's negative, and then we have the x, 2 and 1 half cancel already, and then we have e to the negative 2x. And then this times that, which is that. And we are done with the integration because we have the 0 in the d column. Right here is the place that we put a plus e on the right-hand side, the constant that's needed. Well, I need to isolate the v. So let's go ahead and divide everything by e to the negative 2x. I'll do it right here, I'll do it right here, and I'll do it right here, and also I'll do it right here with the c. Divide the c by e to the negative 2x. So that this and that will cancel, like do the usual cancellation, which is a v. This and that will also cancel, we have negative x. This and that also cancel, so we have negative 1 half. Lastly, we have c over e to a negative exponent. Let me bring this up and it becomes past the exponent. So we have c e to the past e 2x. And now this is what we have. But I don't want to isolate the phi. I want to isolate the y at the end, right? Hopefully. <laughs> but we know phi, it's the same as y to the negative 2. y to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over y to the second power. So this is the same as that. We still have this on the right-hand side. And now let's just do the reciprocal on both sides. So we have y squared is equal to 1 over all that. And let me just stop right here because, of course, you can just take the square root on both sides and put a plus minus. But I think this will be slightly more complete, right? So let me just leave it right here. So here is the answer to that. And this is just the general solution because we have the c right here. However, before we end this video, do we have any missing solution that's not in this family of solutions? Do we have any constant solution to that differential equation, maybe? And in fact, yes, we do. So here, let me just write it down. We have a missing solution. And usually, what you have to do is check for if there's any constant solution that will make this work. Uh, on the right-hand side, you have the y times this, right? technically negative y. But you see, if I let y equals to the constant function 0, the derivative will also be 0. So the missing solution is going to be y as a function of x is equal to 0. It's a constant function. You can write it down like this, or you can also write it down as y is identically equal to 0, with three lines here, okay? Because once again, if y is a constant function zero, you'll see that dy dx will also be zero, right? The derivative of zero is of course zero. And when you plug in dy dx on the left hand side, you have zero. And the moment you plug in zero into y on the right hand side, you also get zero. So this is also a solution. Anyways, these are the two things that I'm going to present to you guys for this differential equation.